So Pixel OS latest update, which is the first update of 2024 is released with the latest security patch of January 2024 based on Android 14 and which are the new additions included in this version. We have many, so we will get into all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end because video could be quite interesting because changes are quite interesting. Let's move on to the first change which we have included here or the first addition is a network traffic indicator. We finally have the network traffic indicator included and this is one of the most useful features available in this custom room right now. You can enable this option by moving into the network and internet section in the settings app or because if this option was not available in this update previously, of course you can install third party app for that but in this case because it's available by default so that's good. Second thing is additional sounds. Now you have the option to turn on or turn off the screenshot sound. As per the change log, this thing was added. This thing was added in this update. It was not available previously. This option is quite useful, by the way, because you can turn off the screenshot sound. Because I personally don't like it much. So if we have the option to turn it off, then it's quite good. These are some great changes. But moving on to one more thing is. In the security and privacy section, device, unlock and settings, you will find some extra options. One of my favorite is the power menu. You have the option to allow accessing the power menu on secure lock screen, which is a very good useful thing, which by default it is enabled, you have to disable. I'm not exactly sure if it was enabled by default, but of course you have to disable it because this is very, very useful. This is quite needy. It's available there. One more thing is it is having the Google Sans fonts pre-included or basically the default fonts are Google Sans. This is one of my favorite fonts. You can also install these fonts as a Magisk module on a device. But because these fonts are available system-wide everywhere, that's one of the positives about this one. Another thing is the auto brightness. Now we have the option to, we have the option for this auto brightness in the quick settings panel. Adaptive brightness, auto brightness, it was already available previously too, but the option in the quick settings, uh, in the quick settings panel, it was not there. Now you can adjust the auto brightness directly from the quick settings panel instead of moving on to the settings and display settings or options, etc. One more thing is in the quick settings panel is the screen record. Now we have many options in screen recording section. We have the option for the skip timer and the bigger file size limit. Both of these options are so useful. Enable HEVC option is also present, which is enabled by default. To be very honest, I'm not exactly sure what this do, but the things are available and I just wanted to let you know, of course. Including these options, one more thing is, which is one of the main highlights of this update, is this floating volume panel, which means floating expanded volume panel by default the volume panel looks like this let me show you this is how the volume panel looks like but options are kind of same but if you click this option then we have this floating floating volume panel sorry for that floating volume panel and it is not available in any other custom room as far as i know because i tried a lot of custom rooms i think so it was not available in any other custom room so this is also quite good one more thing is available in the notification section. We have the option the, at the bottom, Sanner heads up, which means you only have the heads up for the essential apps like calls and messages, alarms and reminders, and the priority conversations. No other app, for example, WhatsApp or Instagram or any other social media app, all those apps, heads up notifications are disabled, which is actually quite good. All these noticeable changes I've already shown you, including that because this is a Pixel OS. So we have Pixel device goodies, for example, the Pixel launcher, the quick settings panel is in dark mode because by default, Google brings you this kind of UI. The power menu is also in dark mode in case you don't know that. And other options because this custom room is one of those custom room which brings you stock kind of UI. So it is not having any kind of extra features here. But the apps cloning feature is already present here. Battery section have the battery charging control option available. I'm not exactly sure if it is device specific or not. But I think so it is available in your device too. Sound and vibration, same kind of thing, display, wallpapers and style where you have the new clocks available because it is already adapted to the latest QPR update. So all the new clocks available in Android 14 are already available and present here in this case. You, if you want to choose them, if you want to use any one of these, you can very easily. 
including this security privacy system gestures everything what you need is already present some of the missing features which are not there of course like hide ime space etc it was never there in the pixel over so we are not going to complain about that the things which i just wanted to let you know i have already shared with you this is about the latest update of pixel os based on android 14 with the latest update which is having the latest security update etc etc all these things i just wanted to let you know i have already shared links are already available in the description if your device supports that check it out thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one goodbye